So for today's quick tip, I'm gonna show you a free Ableton plugin that doesn't make any sound and doesn't affect the audio or the MIDI whatsoever, but it's so, so useful. So I'm back again with another one of my quick tips. Every single day this month, a brand new quick tip, and we're actually getting really near the end of the month now. So if you missed any of these videos, definitely check them back on my YouTube channel. But in today's quick tip video, we're looking at a free plugin for Ableton that will really turbocharge your workflow. I'm talking about the Live Enhancement Suite. It's an amazing little app that gives you so much power within Ableton and helps you get around it so much quicker. So let's jump into Ableton and check it out. So today we're looking at the Live Enhancement Suite, this amazing plugin that you can download for free. It's basically a little app that sits on top of Ableton and gives you a whole load more features. Things like getting to devices and effects really quickly, and then a whole load of shortcuts that really kind of speed up your workflow. It's an amazing little app, and as I say, it's a free download. We've got all these artists here that are supporting it. It's really amazing. And it was developed by Dylan Toolchief and Inverted Silence. So a big shout out to them for this amazing little plugin. So once you've downloaded and installed the application, it will appear within your applications folder. And when you run it, it will then sit within the menu bar at the top of the screen. Now from this menu bar, you're able to configure the app. And there are so many different settings within here. I'll come on to that in a little bit. Now, because this is a quick tip video, I haven't got enough time to go into every single feature because there are just so many and some of them are amazing. And what I wanted to do in this video is just pick out a few of the ones that I really, really love. Now, this first one to show you how to do it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and create a new MIDI track within here. Now I've created a new MIDI track within here and I need to put an instrument on there, obviously. So I'd open up my browser normally, I'd go to my instruments, find the instrument that I wanted to, and then I'd drag and drop it onto the actual track itself. Obviously that does take a little bit of time to do that. Now I could speed this up by using collections, for example, so I could jump within my collections where I've kind of sorted out some of my most used plugins and my most used effects. So I could easily just take one of these, drag and drop it onto the channel and I can start using it. Again, this will take a certain amount of time, but the enhancement suite has made it even quicker than this. It actually adds a custom menu down the bottom here. If I double right click, it shows me this custom menu. Now I say custom menu because I've actually customized this to be exactly how I want it to be. So every folder within here and all of the different things within it are all customized by myself. So I've got an instruments one here with all the instruments that I use on a regular basis. I've got a chords folder within here with all the chords that I use on a regular basis. My isotope folder with all of my favorite isotope plugins. And then I've got my effects folder within here with all my favorite Ableton effects. And quite easily, I can just pick one of these and it'll insert it within the track. So for example, I can go to instruments, pick velvet, and it will go through there. It will go through the browser. It will find velvet and it will add it to the track. Now say for example, I wanted to put a chord preset on there. I'm going to double right click and go to my chords folder here, and I might wanna put a minor ninth. Click on that, it'll go through, and it'll insert it as quick as that. It's just so easy to do, and just makes it so much quicker to get round Ableton. And finally, let's put an EQ in there. Let's double right click on here, go to effects, and then go to EQ8 and put an EQ in there. It's just so simple to load up your channel by right clicking and adding the elements that you use all the time. Now I say you can totally customize this. If I go to the menu item at the top here and I go to configure menu, it actually opens up text edit and it allows me to go through and edit all of this. Now this does look a little bit confusing. It does give you all the instructions at the top here, but you can go through here and you can create folders and add shortcuts to the things that you use regularly. Obviously it does take a little bit of time to learn and there are a whole load of instructions on their website. Now the next feature is absolutely genius and it has to do with drawing MIDI notes. Now when you're in the piano roll here, if you wanted to draw a MIDI note within here, you'd hit B on your keyboard to go into draw mode and then you're able to click and put a note within there. But the only problem is with this is that you can't actually control the length of it. So if I click to add one and then drag it out, it actually just creates extra notes, which is, well, it's just not great. So I'd have to go back into selection mode. So I'd hit B on my keyboard again to be able to then select the notes and delete them. And if I wanted to drag it out and make it longer, I could then do that from there. Obviously it's an extra step that you don't really need to do. And this is why I love this feature so much. 
So if I hold down the tilde key on my keyboard and then click and drag, it will create a brand new note and it actually go through and actually allow me to select how long I want it to be. It's that simple. It's just such an amazingly simple feature, but honestly, it makes your life so much easier. Another feature which I absolutely love is the fact that you can save versions of your Ableton projects really, really quickly. Now, if I'm working on this project, for example, I could go to save as and then call it something different. So I could create a second version, for example. But you can do that with one simple keyboard shortcut with the live enhancement suite. All I need to press is Command, Alt and S. It will go through, it will create that saved as version and automatically increment it. On the PC, that's Control, Alt, and S. Now, another shortcut that I really love within this plugin is something that really frustrates me within Ableton. So say, for example, here, I've got a vocal that is all cut up. I've got elements here that I've already cut out of this vocal. And if I duplicated it across this space next to it, it would automatically kind of keep in the parts that were there before, which is really frustrating. It gets rid of those empty spaces that I want. I've no way of kind of stopping that. But with this new shortcut with the live enhancement suite, I can do Command, Alt and D. And what it does is it duplicates it across and it actually brings back those empty spaces, which honestly, I just absolutely love. And those are just a few of my favorite features with this smart little app. There are so many more. And especially if you're on a Windows machine, there are loads more they can do with a Windows machine for some reason. But even on a Mac, those features are amazing. I download it just for that right click menu alone. It's gonna be a real boost to my workflow. So definitely check that out and see what you think. Now it is a little bit buggy on the Mac, I will say that. But honestly, from using it a little bit and those tiny features that I really, really love, I'm gonna keep using it because it is amazing. So definitely check it out. Go onto the website, download it, try it out and see what you think. And if this video has been useful to you, then definitely subscribe to my channel. As I say, every single day this month, a brand new music production tip. We're almost getting towards the end of that now. But if you go back to my YouTube channel, you'll be able to catch up on all of those videos and a whole load more. And of course, I'm gonna be producing more videos coming this year. So definitely subscribe to my channel, hit that notification icon so you're notified the moment I upload a brand new video. And hopefully I'll see you again in the next one.